Violent Day veterans, violently, voltaically volleyed by Voltigors. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Half-Life Opposing Force. It's episode 11 of HLOF. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we went through a half dozen Voltigors. This time we carry... Oh, there is a... Oh, that is a pit drone. I see a pit drone down there. Hmm. We carry on with Foxtrot Uniform, Chapter 10. I'm just wondering. All right. Maybe. Yeah. That's, uh... This one's gonna be a little tricky to start off the episode. Fortunately, we... There we go. That was, uh... Well, that could have gone worse. That's a... Oh, there's more. Oh, they're just dropping in from somewhere. Shit, I gotta figure out what I gotta do fast. All right. Okay, never mind. We're gonna take a tactical retreat. And hopefully... Okay, we can use the shock roach without electrocuting yourself. Is why I didn't want to immediately go straight to shock roach. Because I didn't want to electrocute myself straight away. So we're just going to jump in. Damn. That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. They are... Hmm. Makes me wish I had more than ten shots in this thing. Or makes me wish I had a better shot, one or the other. Alright. Oh, he dodged me. Now there's a lever over here. Oh shit. Hit the lever and dive in. And just dive in and dive under. Alright. That was one way of approaching it, I'm assuming. That was the suboptimal way of approaching it, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Now I don't need you yet. So, we've gotten one switch, but I don't know what the one switch does. Ah, I see. So that door at the far end ceases to be open. And this thing is a... Oh, there it goes. That is a tanky little bastard. Alright. There's another lever over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Man, they put that right next to... Alright, no, we're good. Okay, we're just gonna pop two into him. I, I think... I, I definitely intended to hit the switch. I don't know whether I got it, though. That is a different matter. I know there's a lot of, um... No, I definitely... Definitely didn't take. There, we got him. Now, there's ten there. Good. Yeah, crap. Well, wait. There. Well, they're just going to charge. That didn't work. The switch is broken. Ah, crap. They're going to just shotgun the little pricks. That's a Voltagore sound. Crap. Other way. Other way. There. That didn't go at all well. What the hell was that? 
Okay. Let's call that. Let's let's try that one again. And uh, because there's no way in hell I'm recovering from ten percent health. I assume I got Voltagord hit there. Hang on, let's try that again. All right, so we know what we got to do this time without getting killed. Oh yeah, you. Hi. You can't aim at me from down there. So what we can do is we can just let that warm up just a little bit. Now we can just and charge in. There we go, that worked. So we just gotta get aggressive in getting up to the lever. That's the trick, I think. So, we just gotta get aggressive in getting to the lever. Despite the fact that, yes, there is a very good chance that one could get badly injured making that charge. Fortunately, the pit drone's just run in a straight line. Now the trick is, we know from the last time that... There, that worked. Now we'll just, uh, yeah, just a little mix of uh, machine gun grenades and... and machine gun bullets and... We got that guy. We'll blow him up. We'll slowly but surely whittle him down, and there we go. That is all of them done and dusted. Of course... Oh, I guess we got a tight rope walk to get across to there. Of course, we know that there's also Voltagors through that way, so it's, uh... Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if they just continuously respawn, or if that is just a... We'll use the knife. Haven't used the knife for a while. Fortunately, there's some health, some depleted uranium, some rockets, which are good. Because I have been making use of those, but... Not much uh, use of anything else. So, now we know that there is a Voltagor around the corner here. The question is, where? Oh, there am I. Oh. There he is. Just run the hell out of the way of that. Does he like does he like the natural light or, or artificial light? Ain't no natural light this far down. I mean That got him. I was gonna say we can always fall in the water. I mean that has the downside risk of it's mostly water. I I think that the Voltagor would have the advantage from the high ground, you know. It's over, Shepherd. I have the high ground. But we killed him with a mostly electrical creature by using something that is entirely electricity. I heard him. Now, ah, now, now I see him. There. Oh, there's two of them! Well, that's going to make it interesting. I'm hoping... Yep. Oh, I'm down. Well, not down dead, but like down, like in the, in the drink. Woo! Now, unfortunately, I think I'm actually at a disadvantage. As much as I have all these... As much as I have all this room to run around. He can see me. Actually, now. I have him cut off there. So I could just rather than... I was thinking of switching ammo, but no, we're not going to. 
No, that blew him up. I was going to switch to... What was I going to switch to? This thing, this machine gun, it's the, uh, it's like, what, Squad Automatic Weapon or something like that. It's the SAW machine gun. I'll remember the acronym, because the acronym is Catcher. But yes, you also have the handy Shock Roach, which inexplicably is very good against the creatures that are mostly electricity. The problem is, is that the Shock Roaches are, in, in not Shock Roaches, the Voltigars... No, that's just pitch black. I'm just... Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trying to light up the room. So I can... See so I can see what the hell is happening. I'm just shooting in the direction of the sound. And seeing what happens. But those things blew up... A little too easy to be Voltigars. They're like... Mini Voltigars? Oh, they're Voltigar hatchlings, perhaps. Oh, no, there's another one. That got it. Unfortunately, we still don't have... Another, another... Hatchling egg. It looks... Like a mini Voltigar. I keep... Toe-tapping... On the... Oh, no, there we go. We're about to... Find some light again. Is looking pretty grim. Yay, voices! Uh, oh, he, he's dead. I'm not willing to commit to the... Oh, they ain't gonna be in Half-Life 3. Okay, check in. So we'll pick up some of the sport launcher spores. This area. Now, the spore launcher... The, the spore launcher spore thingies, they're supposed to... Oh, they do respawn. So we're going to let it top us up on Spore Launcher ammo, actually. Oh, I tagged. Oops, I meant to hit reload and I hit tag. This place makes boot camp seem like Disneyland. So, one more, probably. It's either one more or six more. One or the other. So we'll grab one more. Did not intend to tag the place, but... You can... I, I do recall you can pick what your spray paint tag is. Oh, no. Like I said, six more. We could just... You know what, I'm just gonna lay out, we'll be back in a second. Alright, 20 spare ammo, that is the maximum, as you can tell. So let us go upstairs, friendly voices. Hi guys. Shepard! Hey, stand back and I'll cut it! We're gonna need your help! Not as much as I'm gonna need your help. Things have gone a bit beyond... Do I need to get out of the way so you can kick that... No, you gotta... Good to see another man in uniform. It's good to see you, sir. It's a real mess out there. I mean, these things are coming out of the damn walls. Ain't no way around them either. They just keep coming. I heard about some kind of big standoff at the dam up ahead. I say we make our break for it now. It ain't gonna get any better, that's for sure. And I bet they could use our help. Sir, hello, sir. I can't imagine you're wrong, soldier. You seen any other soldiers from my platoon? Uh, roger that. So we'll top up on everything, just in case, including, but not limited, were not in my job all this stuff. But I doubt we're gonna have anything else to pick up after that. Squad, quiet down. So I think this is about what we got. So, we found a team anyway, at any rate. This whole operation is out of control. Uh, roger that. Now, let's see. Soldier, I need you out of the way. I uh, hear already a shock trooper. I see already 
A shock. Dr oh my goodness! Things I wasn't expecting. Well, it's to one shot a shock trooper with a sniper rifle. I realize my boys aren't with me. But that's probably. One to the left. And there comes a. Where'd he go? I saw him come out. There we go. I saw the shock trooper come up. Okay, that was a Voltagore. That is a Voltagore. Maybe. So maybe just maybe just maybe we can render this guy pretty useless thanks to the timely intervention of some boxes. So now that begs the question: Where the can't get out that door? Hmm. Now that was, we should have hit him with something harder. Like that. Sounds like Homer Simpson. I think I've said that before. Nice pets. I'm hoping that got it. That might have gotten it, might not have. It did. Now the question, the question is, what the hell is next? Ain't no point in bringing you guys along, especially, that hurt. Especially if we're, uh, oh, one more. I thought I used more than that, but. One more, thank you. Bring out the Desert Eagle, I haven't used that one. Since the start of the episode. Hey, you, heal me. Finally learned how to do that. Hold E, that is the trick. I suppose I had that too, I could have used it. So, well, let's see what we can do next. Anyone over here? No. Danger, Will Robinson. So it is off to this direction, but I don't want to bring my boys along if they're just going to get in the way. That's the trick, right? That was one hit that was worth... That was one hit that was worth... Ah, I got them both. Three... Three shots and two kills is a pretty good ratio. But ten oh but three shots for two kills. I gotta backtrack, backtrack. That sounded successful. That fell short as well. So, all right. Sounds like even more shock roaches. Got him, but we have paid paid the price. Sorry, I had to cut off pets for the good shock roach, or not the good shock roach. The good spore launcher is a good boy spore launcher. Very friendly. So we're gonna double back. Hey, how much more can you heal me for? 
Keeping you in one piece is proving to be quite a challenge. No, nope, now I'm getting needled. I don't like needles. This mission is way beyond Fubar. Check your zone. That's why uh, when you play Dead Space 2, things I don't intend to do anytime soon include doing like a retrospective on Dead Space 2 of all games. Mostly because Dead Space 2 had that needle. There's a scene at the end where you gotta stick a needle into Isaac's eye. And it's just like, as somebody who hates needles, it's just like the absolute worst. Pick some shotgun shells, other bits and bobs as needed as well. Is it really a spoiler if I tell you that there's this scene, but I don't explain any of the context related to it? Probably not. Oh, I was, I was going to say. I was going to say, that's a weird sound. I don't think I got it. Why don't we grenade it instead? That fell short. That probably didn't fall as short. So we're gonna go around dumpster fires. Well, not dumpster fire, but you know what I'm trying to say. Quick save. Missed. Oh! Oh, he ended up... The shock rope ended up up top. So now we gotta double back. Avoid the dump... The garbage fires. Not a dumpster fire, just a garbage fire. It's a good thing we've got a medic around, otherwise I'd be particularly boned. A satchel right there, why didn't I throw the goddamn satchel in? It's one of those things, it's like, you, you think of it, but only after. You think about it, but only after you actually do it, right? Sorry, sir, that's all I can do for you. Moving out, Corporal! Now, you stay here, because you're useless. Falling down that probably doesn't help either. So we can pick up some bits and bobs down here while we can. Maybe we can see if there's... Oh, there he is! I got a bad feeling about this Hang on, I'm going to backtrack and pick up some crap and then we'll be right back. How about that? Uh, roger that. Well, 85% health is better than nothing, I suppose. Not by much, but... Hmm. That nothing here looks particularly promising now, does it? Oh, that's that thing looking for pets. But I did hear a shock trooper around the corner somewhere. Nope, not there. Now's not the time to be looking for pets, Spore Launcher. Off to the right somewhere. There's a Voltagore there. Oh, that was the wrong button. Grab another one of those. I don't think I blew up the Voltagore, but I don't see it either. That get it? No. This has not gone well. So we'll just we'll just slowly but surely try and whittle down. You think it could... Probably can't... Can't fit through there. It's a little fat. Oh, 
Yes, yes, good, good thingy. Spore launcher. Hmm. That looks like a good way to go as well. Now we'll just poke around to the... Okay, now we've cleared this area out reasonably well, so I think we can round up the troops. Get them to come back along with us. Now, that's just a matter of going back and finding the troops. Oh, we can use a satchel. But what we could do is, 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 we could always try going and trying the displacer and seeing what happens with that. Right, guys? This whole operation is out of control. I agree. Uh, roger that. Now, let's try the displacer and see where that teleports us to, and then maybe we can pick up some good stuff there. Let's try it out. I've only been here before, haven't we? Does look, pickings do look a little slim, though. Now, but we can... We can Some machine gun grenades. There's a shield battery down there. Hmm. What does this guy got? This guy had literally nothing. Great. It's ammo canister. No, it might be rockets and shield battery. Oh, my boys are gone, though. What, did I come back at a different point in time? Where'd they go? Did I, was I displaced in both space and time? Is the game not designed to expect me to do that? Hmm, that's odd. Well, my crew's gone missing. That's great. And my crew's gone. My crew's gone missing. I'm on basically no health. Now there's an HEV thing there, so... And there's a Gargantua. Well, today keeps getting better, doesn't it? We'll get 40 points of health out of this thing. To go along with the 50 from the other machine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Whatever I do to the Gargantua isn't going to make too big a difference. Hang on a second. Nope, wrong one. Hello, you. Well. I know what I'm up against. But I don't like it. So duck by the uh, stompy, stompy fires. He did a double stomp. There's a teleporter over there, too. Just get in... Nope. There's uh, nothing for us to climb up, is there? There used to be... A ladder on this thing. I was going to say, should I have not gone down here? Is this really a trap? Like a trap thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't swim through that way. Um, we can just swim up very fast. Just top up on... Hmm. Have I done something I shouldn't have? 
get the feeling. There should be something over here that we can swim to. Really? No, there isn't. So we can bypass this, but... Where's the fun in that? There's a ladder there. Now, maybe uh, going in here is as good as getting yourself killed. Well, that's not fun. All right, well. Let's try that again. Now, the question is how... Yeah, he's got the double stomp ability, and it tracks as well. No, I got shoved off again. Like, there should be a ladder to let us up. Like, so we don't... Yeah, see, there's where the ladder should be for the this thing. Well, now I'm stumped. It'd be a good note to go out on, killing the guard. I see it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, we can do this again without getting shot this time. Hang on. Dive in. Nope, we're gonna want one of these. Nope, didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped. No worries, we could try this again. Third time is the charm on this one, right? Almost. There we go. That was the same. What? What the crap? Oh, he's gonna skip me and go over there. Really? Now, oh, yeah. I'll put the push the plunger. That'll do. Stop bugging me. I've got to. Ooh, that blew it up. That blew it up real good. I wonder if I have to go in there. I have to go over this way. Probably that, since we. You know, blew it up, and that's probably a... Yeah, no, we aren't going that way. That used to be a way we could go or come from. So, we want to go... Oh, well, that's not what we wanted to do. Okay, well, no problem. Well, yes, problem. We're, we're dying very, very slowly but surely here. I'm assuming this will take us to the next chapter, because that would make sense. Oh. Ah! I don't know where we're going, but I don't like it. Well, this is the thing. The package! That sounds like a... That sounds ominous, actually. No, nope, we're not getting out that way. All right. Well, I guess we're going to start the package this time, or I guess next time, I should say. Yes, next time out, we're going to do the package. Chapter 11. We're almost at the end of Half-Life Opposing Force, but we will get there sometime soon, but not next time. Next time, it's Chapter 11, the package. So until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. Social media handle is unsilent on air. And that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more Opposing Force in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.